today we're at the Old Orchard Inn in Nova Scotia's beautiful Annapolis Valley. Located by Wolfville, we're going to be going over the rooms, amenities, pool, dining, and everything that makes this hotel truly unique. And that includes checking out the panoramic views of Cape Blomidon, the on-site apple orchard, and the world-famous Bay of Fundy, where you can watch the tide go completely in and out within a matter of hours. If you find this video helpful in planning your escape, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. The Old Orchard Inn is less than an hour away from the city of Halifax and the International Airport. It's located off Exit 11 on Highway 101, and it's very easy to access. Plus, parking is free. The inn is situated in the heart of wine country, Nova Scotia, with many of the popular wineries only a 10 to 15 minute drive away. It's a great place to stay if you are going on a wine tour. Plus, the Grand Pre UNESCO World Heritage Site, only around 15 minutes away, and the town of Wolfville, less than five minutes away, where you can find things like Acadia University, many great local shops and restaurants, and the Wolfville Farmer's Market to fill up your day. And now let's take a look at the room. And this is our room. Hey, hey. <laughs> so we just checked into the old Orchard Inn. We're on the first floor and this is one of their newly renovated king rooms too. So let's start here. Of course, you've got your little closet area. You get your towels up top, ironing board and iron and places to hang up your dresses and your, your coats. To your right is the bathroom, and you can you can tell it's new because of the barn door. Look at that sliding door, Look yeah. Sliding barn door. First thing that jumps to my eyes is this wallpaper. Look at that. Yeah, it's actually kind of cute. So nicely textured. So we have here the really cool mirror, hair dryer, sink, fair cosmetics, liquid soap. It's got a cool little branding to it. Yeah, lots of towels. Your standard toilet, of course. And then a bathtub for you to go in, shower head. Of course, you got your shampoo and your hair conditioner right there. Mm -hmm. so I'd say you could fit two or three people in here at once <laughs> for a shower. Might be a little tighter for a bath. Yeah, might be a little bit tighter for a bath, but it's a nice, nice shower. We got a hat rack here. Oh, look at that. We got a that. rack for your hat. So if you want to bring a bunch of ball caps, you can. You can hang them up and give them the space that they deserve. Or a handbag. Or a handbag. Now for my favorite part of any room. It's my favorite part. It's my favorite part. Stop. It's my favorite part. Stop. Stop. We got the full-size mirror. The okay, full-size mirror. This is really nice. It's got like a little bench for you to sit down to. It gives you such a nice aesthetic theming that really fits the old orchard in in the area that I, I love this mirror too. It's not just your standard mirror. Same with the bathroom mirror. It's got character. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of character in this like updated space. It's really nice to see. Okay. Now, when I first came in, I saw something, and this was definitely what I was most <sighs> excited for, and I can't wait till later tonight to dive into our robes. Oh, my goodness. Look how amazing and plush they are with the branding on there. We are robe people, so we will be definitely wearing these every night of our stay here. It's just something small like this to have those robes ready that really enhances that initial wow factor, that guest experience. It really is. I mean, like, you do feel like you're home, even though you're... Not home. Speaking of home, this looks like a nice bed that you'll wish you had at home. <laughs> nice king size. Got lights on either side of the bed too, so if you want to stay up late reading, you can. Feels comfy. Yeah, it does feel very comfy. A little comfy. firm, so I look forward to the bed test later. Off to the side, got the alarm clock and a phone. A little sitting area here. Nice Lots and comfy. Lots of pillows. Let's go over here. So we got a little welcome package when we first came in with all their information. They have a lot going on in the community and whatnot, so... Everything's in here. I love a good TV. So this is, see what's going on the TV here. Okay, it works. Customized channels for the indoor pool that we'll be checking out later. Oh, disc golf. They have disc golf here. They have live TV. No, the main this, thing is it works. There's it works, yeah. We, we haven't gone in. The picture is clear. Yeah. That's good. Ice bucket. Oh, look at that. Branded Old Orchard in glasses. Perfect. Ice bucket. A bottle of wine, I'm assuming from a... Local yeah, winery. local uh, winery, Gaspero. Yeah, that's one of local places. 100% of the wines here are actually Nova Scotia local. So if you find wine here, it is local. And if you're coming to this area, 
It's yeah. like winery city, so yeah. you should be drinking local wine. Exactly, exactly. Down here, we've got our regular coffee station, except it's not regular coffee. It's Nespresso. I mean, that's... You drink a little classier here, and you've even got a microwave in this room in case you want to bring something back from the shops to heat up late at night. Thing over here. Awesome. There's a mini fridge with a couple of bottles of local wine. And what I do like is that the price is right there. They're not playing around. This is $39, you know? Yeah. Some places, like, they might have the price hidden. No, this is $39. And, yeah, just in case maybe you forgot to buy a bottle of wine during your wine tour, you just some here in your hotel room. So they that's really cool. Very nice desk area. We got here's really cool lamp. You can charge your phone here. It's really nice. And it got gave us a little Complimentary bit. water and an apple. And an apple. Let's go look out the walkout room and see our view. It is a little rainy, but imagine this on a nice, clear, sunny day. Oh, it would be gorgeous. It would be gorgeous. Here you go. So a spot for you to sit down and enjoy the view. And this is the view. Over there is the new mine in space. So you've got a nice little view of the water. And then the orchards in the Old Orchard Inn, just down there. Some areas to sit and a little swing. I might... I might go down the swing. Right now? I might go down the swing. Oh, gosh. Should I go down the swing? I don't, don't even ask. I know you will go anyways. I'm going to go to the swing. All right. Okay. Wish me luck. Okay. Okay. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. He can't help himself. He just has to go. I wonder if Jen's going to join me. Let's turn around and see. Nope. Look at that. Now that I'm back from the swing, it's time for the bed test. Oh, whoa. Okay. That was not as firm as I thought. That was yeah, a pleasant looks, surprise. Yeah, no, that looks oh, like a did, really comfy bed. Do you see the robes bounce? No, I, I didn't. I did not. No. Oh, they bounced. This is nice. Okay. Good night. <laughs> One thing that I noticed during our stay was how hit and miss the Wi-Fi was. Depending on where we were, sometimes I couldn't really access the Wi-Fi. In addition to the rooms available across the three floors in the main building, you can also book cottages to stay in throughout the expansive property. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the restaurant at the Old O is found connected to the lobby in the Acadian Room. This room, it's full of rustic character with brick and barrel finishes and nice natural touches. Here, you'll enjoy a picturesque view of Cape Lomadin and the Minus Basin, with the view only being surpassed by the food. Prepared by a Red Seal chef, we ate here for breakfast and dinner during our stay. For breakfast, we had the cinnamon apple pancakes and the tea biscuits, which were a delicious way to start the day. On our second morning there, we both had the bacon, eggs, Benny, and the hollandaise sauce here was really tasty. The dinner here is where things really stood out, and we understand why this can be a popular eating spot for tourists and locals alike. The chicken Annapolis was one of the best chicken dishes we've ever ordered. Stuffed with apples, bacon, local cheeses, and more. Oh, the flavors, the presentation. It's worth a return visit alone. The chicken in Annapolis was good, but what I ordered was the lamb shank. Another highlight, extremely tender, packed with taste, and the couscous on the side, it was lights out. The food was great, but one thing I have to note down was how helpful the staff was. They were very informative when it came to, like, everything on the menu. I think we've all been to hotels where it seemed like the staff couldn't care less. But at the Old O, everybody that we dealt with it was, was extremely helpful, extremely friendly. So I would 100% agree with you. Just outside the restaurant, you can walk onto the sun deck where you can enjoy some snacks and drinks with a 360-degree view of the property and the gorgeous views. Now, when you're on vacation, especially with the little ones, a pool is always a must, especially for us. At the Old Orchard, you'll find a good-sized indoor pool to swim around. It's a deep one, too, going 10 feet deep. Now, when we were here, we actually arrived at a golden time period. It was completely empty. So we enjoyed a nice long dip and a game of Marco Polo. Marco. After our swim to dry off, we walked to the dry sauna, found just outside the pool, 
We had no clue this was on site. It was a surprise when we showed up. We love a good sauna. And this quickly warmed us up and gave us a good sweat. If you don't want to, you don't have to leave the old orchard in. There's a wide selection of additional activities for you to take part in free of charge. They have pickleball and basketball courts on site, a fire pit and barbecue area, washer toss, beanbag toss games, miles and miles of trails nearby, and a full disc golf course for you to try your hand at this growing sport. We never played disc golf before our stay here, and, well, you could tell based off our throws. Even though we're not going to go pro, it was still a fun free addition. You can rent your sporting equipments by just speaking to the guest service attendants at the front desk. There's lots to enjoy at the old O. We already highlighted one of our favorite amenities when we found the robes in our room. But you'll also find a full fitness center near the pool, featuring cardio and strength machines. But another fun surprise included walking through the on-site apple orchard. Just look at how gorgeous this is. A very, very unique feature to this hotel. Plus, enjoying the common areas and this swing near the orchard was just a great way to unwind after a long day. This hotel, it's also a popular wedding venue with a big red heritage barn on site, plus many breathtaking spots to tie the knot and enjoy a dinner and reception. Plus, to really unwind, you can enjoy a massage or other treatments at the on-site spa. There's a number of other hotels in the area, but the Old O is locally owned and it really makes an effort to reflect that local experience with food and drink options sourced from around the province. When we were there, we learned that all the wines on the menu are actually from Nova Scotia. So if you're coming to the area and you want to feel and taste true Annapolis Valley hospitality, the Old Orchard Inn is a great spot. Keep in mind, though, at the time of recording, renovations to the Old Orchard Inn are ongoing, so further improvements are planned. Some rooms are done, some rooms are on the way to being done, so you might end up with a newly renovated room like us, or you could have one of their older rooms that still have a lot of great character, but will soon be replaced by the newer looking rooms. If you're coming to the Annapolis Valley and you're looking for a place to stay, based off our experience, the Old Orchard Inn is a great choice. You know, it's it's close to Wolfville. It's close to New Minus. It, it's close to all the wineries. And the on-site experience here was, was pretty top-notch. Yeah, it really felt like you were in a little resort in a way. There's so many activities and things to do here alone. From the pickleball, the disc golf... There's barbecues, there's the pool, the gym, the sauna. They have access to an actual spa. And you can really tell that the staff here cares about the guests' experience. Always so kind and friendly and and looking to to help out and, and move things forward. They were all wonderful to deal with. Thank you so much for watching. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more hotel reviews like this one. And while you're here, check out another one of our videos by clicking the box on the screen. 